WSTKS FM Worldwide Digital Collaborative Learning for the 21st Century. Welcome to week 14 of the course, everyone. It's Professor Schwartz yet again with my feline buddy Onyx the Cat perched beneath the desk lamp to my right and the usual mug of dark roast close at hand. Well, we're nearing the end of the course now, and that means your student learning team should be in the midst of its third and final collaborative project. With that goal in mind, let's look today at three related tasks that your team will need to address as part of that work. We'll get started in one moment following a quick musical break. Stay tuned. Okay, the first related task that your student learning team needs to complete as part of Collaborative Project 3 is for team members to look back over your previous work in the course and revisit five or possibly six films, novels, or plays from across the 15-week semester, depending on the specific course. Certain works will be more useful and relevant than others, though, so choose carefully. The idea here is to look again at course materials that seem especially noteworthy or even significant in terms of subject matter, characters, their situations, and eventual outcomes. What general observations might your team make to connect or group the five or six films, novels, or plays that you have selected for the project? And what are a few individual and specific details from each of those that seem worthy of close and more detailed discussion in your semester overview? For your second task as part of Collaborative Project 3, your learning team should re-examine your five or six films, novels, or plays in terms of systems of power, privilege, inequity, oppression, and justice. It might also be helpful to consider your chosen materials in terms of race, ethnicity, gender, sexuality, religion, caste, and identity. What have you noticed about these works in the past? And what new realizations might emerge as your team revisits these previously examined materials? Brainstorm together to develop first a list of general observations, followed by a list of more specific points that your team wants to make about these films, novels, or plays. As your team looks again at these materials from earlier in the course, give serious thought to the thesis or claim that you want to construct and make about the five or six works selected for this project. Likewise, consider carefully specific examples that you might use from each of these films, novels, or plays to help illustrate your points more fully. WSTKS FM Worldwide Digital Collaborative Learning for the 21st Century. If you find this podcast helpful, be sure to hit like, share, and subscribe. Finally, the third task that is part of Collaborative Project Number Three, which members of your student learning team should address, is to make the analytical leap from analysis and discussion of fictitious works on the one hand to similar real-world issues on the other when it comes to terms of power, privilege, oppression, inequity, and justice. How might your learning team bridge the gap between 
and use your previous overview discussion to introduce and look more closely at persistent social issues of the 21st century. And how might our society better address these same nagging questions more effectively as we move forward? Within this section of your third collaborative project, develop one or possibly two concrete and detailed proposals for addressing these troubling issues more effectively than society has up until this point. Stronger discussions here will present numerous specific details that consider all sides of the issue rather than vague single-sentence responses. Keep in mind, too, that systems of power, privilege, inequity, oppression, and justice are, more often than not, intertwined with race, ethnicity, gender, sexuality, religion, caste, and identity. Where have you noticed these points in your previous viewing or reading for the course? And where do you perceive similar issues in 21st century society? Okay, everyone. To wrap up today's program, let's quickly recap the three tasks that are part of collaborative project number three. One, your learning team should develop a semester overview in which you revisit five or six key works from across the 15-week course. Two, your team members should also examine and discuss the five or six films, novels, or plays chosen for the project in terms of power, privilege, inequity, oppression, and justice. Where applicable, it might be helpful to consider these same materials in terms of race, ethnicity, gender, sexuality, religion, caste, and identity. And three, the members of your student learning team should put on their problem-solving caps and develop one, or possibly two, concrete proposals for ways in which we might address more effectively the social issues that you perceive in both the course materials revisited and in the real world of the 21st century. Tune in again to WSTKS FM Worldwide for additional tips, tricks, and advice based on my almost 30 years of teaching and working with thousands of undergraduates at three Big Ten universities, two liberal arts schools, and to community colleges across the upper Midwest of the United States. In the meantime, thank you for joining me today. I'll see you in class, online, and during Zoom office hours if you drop by with a question. Stay healthy, have a safe and a productive week. With special regards, from Onyx, the cat what am. So long, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now. You've just heard a podcast from WSTKS FM Worldwide, digital collaborative learning for the 21st century.